Hi, I'm Mark and welcome to this video on often overlooked and sometimes downright forgotten crafting recipes. Now when I did the research of these 10, I found that there were several I didn't even know. So even genius has its limitations. So let's get started. Now this first one comes from a dream of mine and that dream was that someday we could make beef stew. But unfortunately, it never happened. But I think they heard my pleas because along the way, when they came out with rabbits, they also came out with the ever popular rabbit stew. Yum. Now that seems like a lot of work, so I don't know who would use it, but there it is. Next up is dyed leather. Now you're probably saying, dyed leather, Mark, what are you thinking? I can do dyed leather, you just throw some colors together. But did you know this? That you can take your leather, throw it on the crafting table, add your color, and you get red leather. However, throw in another color, and you get this reddish, yellowish kind of thing. Throw in another one, and you get this greenish kind of pukey thing. Throw in another one, and you get this gray tone. You get the idea? You can combine any colors you want to over 12 million possible colors. Isn't that cool? You can make whatever color you want, even a pukey gray. So let's grab that one and move on. Now, if you can make it to the end of this video, which I know you will, I've got a little special surprise for you. Something else you might not know. Now, the next one here is mossy stone and mossy bricks. I don't know if I have the name right for that or not, but I used to think that you had to go into a dungeon in order to get these, but that's not the case at all. You can craft them. So we throw a little cobblestone, we throw a little vineage, and we get moss stone. We throw a little mossy bricks and a little vineage, and we get mossy stone bricks. Ta-da! I learned something new. Next up is beds. Now this is one I didn't uh, know for a long time, but I learned it maybe a year or so ago. You do not need the same color wool for a bed. You do not need the same color wood for a bed. All you need is wood and wool. Three of each, and ta-da! You end up with a bed with a red blanket. So, pretty simple. But it's good to know, just in case you don't have what you thought you needed. Next up is coarse dirt. Now, coarse dirt can be really, really useful if you don't want plants to grow. And it's pretty simple. You just combine gravel with dirt, and you end up with coarse dirt. Ta-da! And you get four of them, so you don't lose anything in the process. Next up is some that I think a lot of you are going to go, duh, really, Mark? But I think there's a lot of people who don't know this. And that is the fact that you can craft things that you thought you could only get from Minecraft generated structures. And that's not the case. Take, for example, this brick. Now, you thought you could only go to a nether fortress and harvest all the brick to get the, uh, the ever popular nether brick. That's not the case. Go and get some netherrack, cook it up, and combine it to get the brick. Now, that's true of almost any structure. I think that's true of all structures, is that's how you can get that stuff. Speaking of structures, end rods. Now, people think end rods are pretty cool, but they think they have to go to the end to harvest them. That's not the case. All you have to do is get some pop chorus fruit, combine it with a blaze rod, and you get an end rod. Ta-da! In the next slot, we have a whole bunch of different things. We have diorite with quartz. We have cobblestone with quartz. We have diorite with cobblestone. And we have quartz with cobblestone. Did you know that these can buy, kind of be crafted interchangeably if you don't have the mineral you need? For example, you can put together the cobblestone with this and get absolutely nothing. Isn't that cool? Like I said before, even genius has its limitations. Let's try a different one here. Oh, I know what I did wrong. Duh, I need two of these. Okay, now let's do this. And now we end up with diorite. Now who would go through the trouble of getting quartz to make diorite? Makes no sense, but you can do it. And finally, this one. 
This one is one that I also didn't know. The fact that you can take sand, be it red sand, or the regular ordinary white sand, and make sandstone. I used to think that the only way you could get sandstone was to harvest it. Not the case. You can make your own. Let's throw this one there. And that's it. Ten different ways that you can craft that maybe you just didn't know or overlooked. And finally, my promise that I would give you something that maybe you can use elsewhere. And that's this. Cool, huh? Now you're saying, oh, you know, he just named that, that uh, block there. No, and I didn't name the frame. I named the flower, thank you. If you name an item and then throw it in a frame, that item will maintain its name. So there you go. Thank you very much for watching. If you like the video, please leave a comment or share it or like it or subscribe. If you didn't like the video, nah, keep it to yourself. Thanks for watching.